How long do you think your eyelashes are, huh? Not long at all. So today we're trying Amazon's top rated mascaras for length. I'm super excited and so is she. I have super short Asian lashes. They're like super sparse ones, two millimeters long, and they never keep a curl. I've had a complicated relationship with my lashes. I don't know what to do with them because I feel like they're short. Mine are also non-existent. Wearing mascara doesn't even help, so I don't even bother with it. Mascara makes my eyelashes feel sticky, like getting glued a little bit shut every time I blink. When one falls off, I'm like, no! One of 10 eyelashes. My problem when I wear mascara too is like, I always get smudgies over here. Especially on the outer half of the lid. Because I have like a model lid, they're getting like partially covered by my eyelid as well. They've just never been like a, a source of pride. It would be nice if they were a little longer, I guess. I would like length. I would like thickness with them looking full. I would like them not to smudge. I would like it to last. But I also want it to not like take forever to take off my face. We don't settle. I hate when people ask me if I'm tired, because I am all the time, but like they would open up the eyes more and people would think I'd look more awake and less dead. Does it kind of remind you of Benefit? I was gonna say it reminds me of candy I ate growing up. I really like this whole laboratory situation going yeah. on. She's like trying to concoct the perfect mascara. Yeah. It's featuring a curved wand for volume beyond reality. Oh, you can um, even scan here for a tutorial. Nobody scans QR codes. There is a woman of Caucasian descent on the packaging, so you know yeah, so. already it's not gonna work for us. But we'll see. The box doesn't maybe look like I would have bought it on Amazon, but the <laughs> container does. I'm always like kind of dubious about these like curved wands though because I don't know if it's the best way to deposit mascara product on your eyelashes. Oh, uh, it's chunky. I don't like it. It's already like clumping. Some of my lashes just like automatically stick to each other. You know what? They look pretty thick though. Thick with two C's. Uh, no, now there's more on the lids. It is kind of clumpy. Dude, it looks great. Okay, Michelle approves and uh, I don't. <laughs> this is one of the top rated mascaras on Amazon. That is very disappointing. They still like, look very thin. They look like they had like a full meal, but I want them really, really fat. I feel like now I have what they call spider lashes. Yeah, it's like it a tarantula. Weird. I wouldn't wear this out. It doesn't make me feel confident. So it's called Mad Lash and I'm mad. It really like brushed your eyelashes up, but I don't think it did that for mine. Mine are still like, Ugh! like that's how mine grow. They just grow straight down. Stubborn like she is. That's real. There's like no fucking difference. This is why I don't fucking wear mascara. <laughs> It's just like jam-packed with fancy words that like get my hopes up. Drama Lux Conditioning Fiber Gel Mascara Plus Perfect Base. There's no parabens, phthalates, fragrance, or synthetic dyes. Dyes. <laughs> synthetic dyes. Ginseng Root Extract. That's so cool. Oh. Every single beauty product I've bought that's like imported from Japan gets the job done. Oh, wait, what? I don't love this because when you put your fingerprints on the product, you see the smudges. I just have lots of things going on in my life. Like I always have clammy hands Jeez. and like my fingerprints are now all over this product. So if you like commit a crime and you're like also wearing mascara, don't <laughs> use this one. Feels like a $30 mascara. Mm, I like the sound it just made. Oh no. Ooh, they're so fat. Yes. Fat would promise the fatter to brush, the fatter of my lashes. This is not a comfortable thing to like hold in your hand. There's a reason they don't make pens and pencils. It's fucking boxy as hell. <laughs> it's less white than most primers. Sorry, is it weird that I'm just gawking at you while you do no, this? I love no. watching people do their makeup. Oh wow, this one actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely less clumpy. I like that they're not clumping, but honestly, the result isn't as dramatic as I thought it would be. I don't think that's the best primer in my opinion. This one glues fewer of your lashes together. Okay, wait, I can see like more of a difference with like the second coat. It's a ginseng. This one is much less clumpy. Like it looks surprisingly nice. They look really long. Coquette Chronicles. This sounds like the next 50 shades. First of all, there's like 
four fonts they're using. They're not a very coordinated team. I'm looking at this ingredient list and the first ingredient is collagen. The other two I think were just water. That's what I'm all about. Give me all that collagen. collagen. The wand looks pretty standard too, like nothing fancy. It looks pretty like drugstore-y, but again, maybe it's like a hidden gem. I like how it glided just right out of the tube. Like the other one, you had to kind of like tug at it a little bit. It seems pretty smooth. I like it's it. It's got a nice consistency. I don't know if it's just like the bristles are kind of sparse, but it just feels like it's not picking up that much product. I'm just getting it more on my face than I am on my actual eyelashes. It's a really bad brush. This brush hurts. I want to stop putting on mascara. This one is actually the least chunky slash clumpy. Oh, I still can't get these outer ones. Story of my life. It feels sticky. Top lashes touching the bottom ones and it's just like... From this angle, it looks like it's clumping less for sure, but giving you the length of the first mascara. This is like something you buy from like the discount bin at your drugstore. Don't feel like a flirty girl. There is like one good thing about having sparse eyelashes. Asians just don't have that much body hair. It's like Ali Wong said about Asian men, we're like dolphins, you know, we're just like soft all over. The Eve by Eves is my favorite, and yes. It went on the most smoothly. It just seemed like it was like actually lengthening without clumping. I really think if I tried it with a different primer, I could create a new product. I think the primer did help me somewhat. I liked the third one in the purple packaging, the ooh la la flirty girl, because that was least clumpy for me. I was surprised the fact that like they weren't brands that we all knew. Amazon, I feel like has so many miracle products and I was hoping for something that doesn't clump, lengthens like crazy, but I guess that's what eyelash extensions are for. I don't feel like they're any different from other mascaras I've tried in terms of like um, people who are of Asian descent. And I guess like there hasn't really been in a cosmetic line that caters to that audience. Who cares? Asians have such great features. Just do what you can, make your own beauty standard. For other people with monoliths, just do you, live your best life. Whether you want to put on tons of layers of mascara or just like wear them natural, like it's totally up to you. So find your confidence in whatever way you feel like you can. So as you may have noticed, Boldly is now as is. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, you'll still get all the awesome content you're used to, but just even more new great stuff. Click here to subscribe. Woo! Clicky click. click.